Hi, Matt. Hi, Mike. Certainly this is a big talker here, right? Because so far this winter, we've had a lot of rain here in New England, and this is really our first shot of a widespread snowfall. Now the timeline on this system would not be until later in the weekend, say Saturday night into the day on Sunday. Plenty of cold air in place with this system that we would be talking about a mostly, if not entirely, snow event for us here in New Hampshire. And certainly depending on the exact track this storm takes, we could be talking about areas of heavy snow with significant accumulations possible. But that really is the key at this point in the forecast, with this still being more than five days away. Exactly where does this storm track? Mike showed you where the storm is right now, just entering parts of the California coastline. With that being so far away, still a lot can change between now and the upcoming weekend. So there are a couple of model solutions we have been looking at today and we'll continue to look at for the next couple of days. The first track is this more northern track that will hug the northeastern coastline. If this were to take place with a lot of cold air, we would be talking about a widespread moderate to even heavy snow event here in New Hampshire. But let's say that track is a little bit further south. We'd be talking about a weaker storm here and really just more fringe impacts locally. So there would still likely be some snow, especially in southern parts of New Hampshire, but certainly the heaviest in this particular solution would stay over parts of southern New England and back into the mid-Atlantic states. Again, with this still being so many days out, a lot can and probably will change between now and the weekend, so it's very important to stay up to date with the latest forecast trends. But let's not forget the near term, right? It was quiet <laughs> today, but does it stay that way going forward?